Hello everyone. Um, today we are going to be working on uninstalling the Microsoft SQL Server and as well as the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So if you look through my apps, you will see that I have the Microsoft SQL Server. Let's go down to Microsoft SQL. So you can see I have SQL Server 2019 and SQL Server Tools. So I want to uninstall the two of them that's there and um let's see how that is done so first of all one easier way to do that is just go to your control panel so go to search down here and type in control panel so once the control panel has come up click on the control panel and once you do that it's going to give you the control panel uh, similar to mine then next thing is you want to look for uninstall applications or you look for program and features so yeah I have program and features if I click on it it's going to show me all the applications that I have on my computer it's going to show me all the applications I have on my computer so I'm going to go up here and I'm going to type in SQL server just like that SQL server just like that so now I want to start the uninstallation so if you look at it you can see we have a couple of them here but the first one we'll uninstall is the Microsoft SQL Server 2019 that I have on my computer. So I'm going to click on it, right? And I'm going to come up here and click on the uninstall or change. So when I do that, bam, it's going to ask me a question. Do I want this to make changes to my computer? I will say yes. Then once I do that, this dialog box is going to come up. So I'm going to have add, repair, and remove. I want to remove right now so I'm going to click on remove when I click on remove it's going to tell me to wait a bit that it wants to do some operations and then it will start so I don't need to do anything here I don't need to click on anything all I need to just do is just click next yes I want you to remove everything next I want it to remove everything and then we'll wait for it to do that so one thing about SQLs or databases is that most of them are always sneakish they always hide everywhere so you need to take your time to make sure that everything is being removed completely so it's, it shouldn't take much time but just be patient enough for it to do everything it wants to do and then yeah it will be fine so let's wait for it to, to do so.
So it's almost done. Let's wait for it to be done. So you can see now it's telling me now that what that um the information about setup operation or possible steps now it's telling me everything has been done it's telling me everything has been done and all i need to do is just click close once i click close i will see the next one so the next big fish to install is the server management studio so just go to the server management studio and click on install it will ask me do i want to apply changes or something to my computer i'll say yes and then that will start as well i'll say i want to uninstall and then it will start as well So we're almost done let's see how it goes it's almost done So we can see the um the data studio and the management studio are being uninstalled it's going to take a bit of time but it shouldn't take that much of time unlike the other one so you can see it's already uninstalled completely so for this one we can just pick each of them one after the other and uninstall so you can see it's telling me it has already been uninstalled so i could actually just click each of them okay i can't click multiple but just click one and uninstall because this has already they all came with the browser earlier the first one we actually uninstalled so they're all there so all is going to be uninstalled pretty soon so let's see this it has been uninstalled Installed, it has been uninstalled. Yes, and the last one, yeah. So, once we have all this uninstalled. We just need to do just a couple one or two more checks see because as i said earlier 
SKLs, they love the database for um the um the Manima Studio just loves sleeping everywhere, staying somewhere. So let's I'm going to go into I've closed that now. I'm going into my computer. I'm going to my um window C. I'm going to my program files to see whether I still have Microsoft SQL Server. Funny enough, I still have this here, and um, I want this is uninstalled, deleted as well. So I just come here, I press my Shift and Delete button. I click on Yes. It tells me do I want to, I need to provide this, and I say I don't want it. I want it all gone. So as I do this, I have everything all deleted from my PC. Simple, no issue, very demure so um also azure data studio i don't need it so switch delete it's part of it delete then that's all now we are free of what of the microsoft sql server so let's confirm here as well Let's confirm. We just have to confirm everywhere. Like I said, it likes taking around. Okay, do we have SQL server here? OPQRS. Nope. So yeah, we are done. Oh, we have this SQL 2019 as well. Good. It's also part of it. So I want to remove all that and voila, we are done. So we have comfortably uninstalled the Microsoft SQL server as well as the microsoft sql server management studio so you see here we do not longer have it here and that's that's done thank you subscribe like and follow for more